Hey everyone, Mark Buffa here, and this video is going to teach you a little bit more about the new feature, uh, new paid feature, which is called the Job Board. So the Job Board was announced at uh, Bowl Expo this year, 2023, and it is going to be our first introduction into the paid plugins that we're offering on Spectre Cloud. So through some feedback, we have received uh, requests to add certain features to Spectre. However, some requests are very niche oriented, so not everybody is going to be using these. We will be incorporating some of these new features as paid additions to your subscription. So again, you can turn these on or off in the settings and kind of tailor Spectre to the way that you want to see it. Okay, so the first of these paid plugins is called the Job Board. So the Job Board is going to be something that will squash uh, several issues in regards to the services that you offer in your Pro Shop. It is a added piece that adds onto the Arsenal page. So here's a, a little bit of a quick story on how this will work. So you have a bowler, you drill them a bowling ball. They come back to see you within a couple of weeks and say, hey, I need a detox or you know maybe a resurface or change my grips. Right, whatever, change of grips is probably gonna be the most common thing. So what you're gonna wanna do is log that in the ball itself. So you create the bowling ball inspector as you normally would, you log that you changed the person's grips, and it will now give a history of all of the services that you did for that bowling ball. Secondly, what it's going to do is you can now add also a due date to that service. And with that, you will now have a global list of what you need to do in your pro shop. Go into our videos here on the YouTube channel, watch the workflow video where we kind of talk a little bit about how I like to use Spectre in our pro shop. And you'll see that down in my pro shop, I have a tablet in my service area. You'll see basically the list of things to do in the pro shop. So this is great for you if you have multiple pro shops to know what's pending uh, for a certain due date. Okay, so those are gonna be basically the two basic premises for the job board. Let's dive right into my screen here and show you how to set up job board for your subscription. So here we've got my test account where we see that job board is here on top on the menu, but let's go to an account uh, where it is no, where it, where it isn't uh, active. So we see here only bowlers, settings, and dashboard, and we don't see job board. So if we scroll down here to the bottom, this is a Canadian account. So we'll see here that it is $20 Canadian or $15 US. And you see here, it says add to subscription. So I would just click this and it would use the credit card that's on file for Stripe and it will add that to my subscription. Okay, so if you wanna add the job board, that's how you would do it. So let's go back to my existing uh, job board. So if I go back to here to my settings, you'll see if I scroll down here, it says that it is now active and uh, that's it. If you wanna manage that, you can go to your pro shop name here and you go here to manage payment. And if you click there, you'll see, I won't click it because it's gonna show you all my Stripe details, uh, but you know, click there and you'll see, that's where you can also cancel it and uh, do all that jazz. The first thing you're gonna wanna do when you sign up for Spectre um, Job Board, again, scroll down here, click the activate button, go here to your pro shop name. So here it says test pro shop name. Here it'll say your pro shop name, like JR Pro Shop or something like that. And scroll down to the bottom and here you'll see your plugin administration panel. So here you're gonna be able to uh, include the price on or off. So as you can see here, we've got a little bit of a price uh, table. So I'm gonna turn this on. Currency, it's a text field, so you can put whatever it might be. You know, you can put it like this, or you can just put a uh, dollar sign or a euro symbol or whatever your currency symbol is. We made this very easy to where you could just type it in. Uh, you know, you wanna put two of these, whatever you wanna do, you could just do that. Uh, the refresh timer is set by default to 90 seconds and we'll see that when we get to the global list. If you wanna turn this off, just put it at zero seconds. And then lastly here, we've got our pricing table and our service table. If you just signed up, this table will be blank and you're gonna to need to add all your services as you would. So basically this is your, your price keys, I guess if you wanna put them that way. So here we don't have, I, I omitted to put a plugin redrill. So we're gonna do that together. So here right now I would just go add item. I would put in here plug and redrill. Okay, type that in. And in here we charge $80 for a plugin redrill. So I would put that and hit the submit button and we see it adds it to my list. Okay, so here basically take the couple of minutes to build your price grid basically. Um, so it'll be in Spectre. Okay, so now that that's done, we've done the first step. 
Next up, what we're gonna wanna do is go to our bowlers. We'll find our favorite bowler. And obviously we're gonna want to have a ball on file. So we all know how to log a ball on file inspector. So we're gonna go here. And now if you scroll down a little bit, we have a new button here that says create job. And with this, we're gonna be able to log that job. Okay, so I'm gonna click create job. And what do we see now? We see all those services that we just entered in our price grid. We now see them as, as basically tiles that we can uh, touch up here. So we see here job creation for Mark Buffa, selected services for Zen Master, 16 pounds with the serial number ABC123. And we can easily just figure out what we want to do. Scroll down here, we have a due date, a total dollar amount, and a notes section. So let's go here and let's do a, a plug and redrill. And we see now it highlighted the plug-in redrill and it put in the dollar amount. So the reason why we put this as a text box is if let's say, uh, you know, Jacob comes into my pro shop and he does three services. So uh, let's say he does a plug-in redrill and an insert change. Okay, so let's, let's add these together. So you can select multiple services and it'll do the math for you. So you see here it added it up and did $95. But let's say, you know, he's a buddy and I wanna give him a deal. I could easily just change this to $90. So that's the reason why we did that. Really nice way to override the, uh, the automatic calculation. And then lastly here, we can set a due date. So let's say he's coming on Friday to pick this up. And let's say in the notes here, I wanna, I'm gonna say here, client will, be present at 2 p.m. for pickup. We can put that in the notes. So now that this is done, we just created our first job. So now we, if we go back to the Arsenal page and we scroll down to the bottom, we will see all of the, uh, the history of what we've done to this bowling ball. So as we see here, we actually do have something that's late for this customer here. Uh, they wanted to resurface back on, uh, on the 18th. So obviously, you know, being in, in a test environment here, um, I shouldn't have created another job for this guy since I already have the ball on my workbench. But anyways, so we see here that we also have the insert change, which is due on, on September 8th. Okay, so the due date is here and it is not yet completed. So here we see interchange and a plug-in redrill for this ball. So we have the full history by date for that bowling ball. Now, if we go back to the job board here, this is going to be all the jobs that are pending in our pro shop. So again, if we go back to that tour video where we took a tour of my pro shop downstairs, saw that we had a tablet that was dedicated just to this, uh, this view here. And again, if you remember in the settings, we had that timer and we see now that our, our, our scroll bar here at the top is kind of winding down 90 seconds and it'll refresh. So basically it just keeps that board fresh on what's due. So we see here, we have some pending things here for the Zen master, for myself and for Jean-Pierre, we have a quantum Evo that wants a detox and a sanding or a polish. So again, this is gonna give us our to-do list of the things that we need to do in our pro shop. If we wanna take this job and complete it, we can easily just click on this job. It'll pop up that job board view with all of the services. And right now I could just click here and complete that job. It's saying you're about to complete this job. Do you wanna complete it? Yes, I wanna complete it. And it'll refresh this page. And we now see that the job is no longer on the board. It is clear, pretty uh, straightforward there. All right, so here's a practical application of the uh, Spectre job board. So here we've got a ball with, you know, what we would usually see in the past was just a handwritten note just taped onto the bowling ball or a little post-it note or a spec sheet, something rolled up. So we've got our ball logged in. We have the create job button. So we would click that. And as we see on our handwritten sheet here, we've got a plug and redrill and a laser engraving. As we see here, they specified only $70. So they gave him a pretty hefty discount. So here I could easy just go here and go $70. And he said he's coming next week to pick it up. So I'll put it in for, let's say Wednesday, uh, just to make sure it's done. And then it says here that, you know, call client when done. So here, call when, when done. And that's it. So now if we go to our job board, we'll see that Francis Lambert is here and he's picking up his ball on Wednesday and the status is pending. Pretty easy real life application. So and I could easily take this and just throw it out and we're good to go. So I hope that this uh, kind of gave you like a real life application. We'll kind of throw this in the video to, to make it uh, make sense to you. So I uh, hope this helps you out in your shop. So again, I hope that the job board is going to be something that you incorporate into your flow. 
Okay, we've got a great response from it. We have a lot of members using the job board right now, and it has been something that's been an integral part of their you know, shop area for all their services. So again, I hope this video shed some light on that. If you want a written how-to of how to use the job board, again, go to specterbowling.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom to the patch notes, and you'll see a dedicated patch notes just for the job board. So make sure to check that out. Everything is there in written detail. And again, let us know down in the comments if you're using job board and how you like how it improved the flow in your pro shop. Again, my name is Mark Bufa, and I hope you guys enjoyed this instructional video. We'll see you guys in the next one.